everybody. Um, I was just thinking about you all, so I wondered if you were thinking about me. And I thought that's a really good time to send you a message. So um, my message today is, first of all, just to say, I wonder if you've been trying any of the things that I suggested last week, if you were feeling a bit funny about being at home. Um, and I was going to say that I have. And one of the things I was talking about last week was trying to do new things. And um, you won't know this about me, but I almost never make cakes. I'm not really a baker at all. But um, my daughter was having her birthday and I thought to myself, try new things, it's good for you. And you will be really pleased to know that I made her a really nice birthday cake. And everybody was amazed. And after I'd done it, and when everybody was proud of me and liked it, I felt really good about myself and took a long time to eat it because it was a really big cake. And anyway, now I feel kind of like I could try to make new cakes all the time. So I've been looking um, on BBC Good Food Guide and looking at all the recipes of things that I'm going to make. And I've got my eye on the cake I'm going to make next. I hope you try to do something new um, and keep trying because there's new things to do all the time. Now, because I've just told you about learning to make a cake, that made me think about my very, very favourite Michael Rosen story. You know it because I've read it before in assembly, but I thought I'd read it for you today. When I was a boy, I had a favourite treat. It was when my mum made chocolate cake. Ooh! I loved chocolate cake. My mum, she says to me, listen, Michael, if there's any chocolate cake left over at the end of the day, you can take time to school tomorrow and you can have it at playtime or at lunchtime. So I used to go to school with a piece of chocolate cake in a little box and I'd be walking to school. Yeah, it's in there. I know it is. And I'd get to school and it would be playtime or lunchtime and I'd open up the box and take it out. What's it going to be? Chocolate cake. It is. Open up the paper. Gonna get it. Look at it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I love a good mm -mm. I loved my mum's chocolate cake. Well, one time there was some chocolate cake left over at the end of the day and I went to bed. I was fast asleep and then in the middle of the night I woke up and I thought, chocolate cake. Ha-ha! <laughs> Maybe I could go downstairs and have a little look at it. No one would know. So I got out of bed. Shh! I mustn't wake my brother up. Along the passage. Careful not to tread on the creaky floorboard outside Mum and Dad's bedroom because if they wake up and find me, I am in big trouble. So, really quiet. They're still asleep. OK, along the passage, down the stairs, into the kitchen, open the cupboard and yeah, there it is. So I take it out. Just have a little look at it. Mm, look at it. Ooh, yeah. What's this? Ooh, I notice some little crumbs on the plate. So I think if I lick the end of my finger, I could pick some of those crumbs up and no one would know about it. Chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck. Ooh. Yep. Mmm. Little sticky bit there. Mmm. Gobble. Yum. Mmm. And well, then I notice on the side of the cake, there's some little crumbly bits just falling off. So I think if I get a knife, I could tidy it up a little bit. No one would notice. Scrape. Scrape, scrunch it all together. There's the crumbly bits and the sticky bits. It's all time to go in there. Yeah, my belly, belly, belly. Mm, 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 gobble, gobble. Then I notice that as I've tidied it up over here a little bit, maybe I could even it up a bit on the other side. So I take the knife again. This time it goes through the crisp icing on the top through the squishy icing in the middle. Scrape! And I've got a whole slice this time. <gasps> yeah, it's gonna go in there. It's a belly, 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 belly. It's a mmm mmm. Now, I've got the taste in my mouth. I just can't stop myself. 
So I go, psh, 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 gobble, gulp, gulp. I've got these slices, greedy, greedy, greedy. I can't stop myself. Oh no, it's all gone. Oh no, they're bound to notice now. A whole chocolate cake just doesn't, dis just doesn't disappear. What am I gonna do? I know, I'll wash up the plate and the knife and they won't know anything. Good thinking. So take the plate, take the knife, wash it up really quietly, wash them up. Don't forget to dry up, get the cloth. Don't forget the knife. Don't forget to put them away. Plate in the cupboard, knife in the drawer. Back up to bed. Shh, upstairs along the passage. I know where the creaky floorboard is now. So all I've got to do is tread over it. Because if I tread on it, it makes a noise. I'm dead. Careful now. <gasps> Are they still asleep? Yep, yeah, it's okay. Into the bedroom, into bed, under the covers. Oh, nice and warm. Chocolate cake in my belly. Goody, goody, goody. And I go to sleep. Well, in the morning, I get up and I go downstairs. And I'm having my breakfast and mum is over there and she's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, don't forget your book folder. And she hands me my book folder. I'm busy having breakfast. She's busy over there. She's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, there's something else, something nice. There's some chocolate cake left over from yesterday. You can take it to school today. And I went, all right, yeah. She says, what's the matter? Usually you jump at the idea of chocolate cake. And I went, yeah, it's all right, it's okay. She's looking at me very closely. Just here, next to my mouth. And she says, what's that? And I said, what's what? It's not chocolate cake, is it? And I said, don't know. She went over to the cupboard. It's gone. The chocolate cake's gone. You haven't eaten the whole of the rest of the chocolate cake, have you? And I said, I don't know. You don't know, she said. You don't know. I don't believe a word of it. Now, off to school. No, before you go to school, go upstairs to the bathroom and wash your dirty, sticky face. I went upstairs into the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I saw it just there, a chocolate smudge, chocolate blob. And I looked at it and thought, maybe next time we have chocolate cake, she'll forget about it. Do you think she will? Chocolate cake by Michael Rosen. Hope you have a lovely week. Be good, be kind. See you soon.